You're rolling, right? I can just start whenever I want. Front side? Yeah. Let's, let's beat him. We can't get in position. Right. As soon as the interview's done, go to the full page graphic over your background. Where is he? Are we good on batteries? This is how it's done, fellas. Remember? This race is vicious coming up. They may be out of order in the post parade. You gotta be kidding me. Pavel coming out of Team O'Neill's barn. Is there a countdown to this? Can I get a count? Yes, Ambush Scott. Yes, Ambush Scott. You guys, as soon as you have your interviews ready, let's do them live. We're ready. All right, here we go. Scott. Scott. Field sent on their way for the $1 million TVG Pacific Classic. the horn mic check in just a second. Um, when I call your name, do me a favor, just give me a shout out. 60 seconds to the show. Hey, Todd, you got me? This is Kevin. Yes, this is counter programming on the main desk. <laughs> Great, Todd thanks. Trump. Simon, you hear me? Yep, I hear you. I'm in the paddock. Great, infield set. Christina, you got me? I hear you. Great, thanks. Matt, how are we doing? I'm doing very well, loud and clear. Great, thanks. Gabby, mic check. Hello, I can hear you. Great, <laughs> thanks. Very robotic, I like it. Brittany, camera 20, how are we doing? Chicka, chicka, chicka. Chicka, chicka, chicka. I like it. Mike Joyce. Hi there. We are at Doug O'Neill's barn with Pavel and Blended Citizen getting ready Scott to go. Scott Hazelton, looking at the camera. Give me a mic check, Scott. Gotcha. Yes. Gotcha. One, two, three, four. Gotcha, Kevin. All right, guys. Look, 10 seconds. We're going to start the show just for fun. All right? It'll be the open first. It'll be full sound. It'll be Todd walking around. We're going to love it. Have fun. Thanks. Bye. One full sound, ready to dissolve the black. Yep. Dissolve it. Close all microphones. Dissolve the black. Track 81. Roll 81. Dissolve. What does it mean to be born into the sport of horse racing? For me, it's my this father who was is a the staff open sergeant in the Marine of Corps. Our show. Station at Camp Pendleton. Thank you guys. Let's go. When horse racing becomes your passion, that's when you are born into the sport. I'm just one of many personal born into the sport stories at TVG. I was very proud of the open of that show. It's not often that I'll sit back and admire a piece of work that I'm closely involved in, but the open was something that my boss, Kevin Grigsby, came to me and said, you and Anna James are gonna be responsible for the opening. And here's the general theme. I want you to stay within the theme of our 20th anniversary, born into the sport. So it was from there that I started to think about what does born to the sport mean? On the surface, I think a lot of people look at it and say, well, that means you have some connection to horse racing and that's why you made horse racing your entire life. I saw it in a different way. I saw it not only that connection, but someone who goes to the racetrack for the first time and all of a sudden it clicks and they love the sport for the rest of their life. To me, that's the moment you're born into the sport. I'm Todd Trupp for America's Horse Racing Network TVG. Todd, you did a fantastic job on this. Nice job, buddy. Beauty shots next. Todd and Simon on camera. Morning line for the classic after that. This is a day where you know you are alive. A beautiful day at the Del Mar Thoroughbred Club. Morning line next. We'll give you a beauty shot for that morning line. And later today, the Grade 1 TVG Pacific Classic at a mile and a quarter over the fast main track. Welcome to our Run Happy set just off the paddock. I'm Todd Trump. Very pleased to be with my colleague Simon Bray, whom you learned about there in the open. Simon Back on camera, two box to the other set. Christina Blacker and Matt Carruthers bringing us the view from our infield set. And Christina, Classic ring means next. We have it. It's a VT81. They talk over it. Anxious moments for all of the connections involved and some excitement for us and the folks at home who will get a chance to watch this race and to wager on it. Million dollar TVG Pacific Classic Day. The only million dollar thoroughbred race in Southern California. So it's a huge day. The TVG Pacific Classic is sort of the focal point and the highlight of the Del Mar race meet, and we count down to it from opening day until they oh. leave the gate. Going into it, you know it's going to be a big show, but you don't really feel it until you show up. Each and every year is just such an incredible production to be a part of because that's what it is. It's Del Mar's signature race, and it's TVG's signature race. So everything that goes into that day 
It's something really special to be part of. I believe it's a demonstration of how we've come so far as a company in 20 years. And one of the most exciting parts about it for me is it's one of those all hands on deck kind of moments. All our producers are here, all of our crew members are here, all the bells and whistles and everything that TVG can do comes together and we're able to show the best side of ourselves with that production. I think there were eight on camera people that day. We had Todd and Simon at the set. I was with Christina out in the infield. And we had four reporters, right? We, we had Brittany, we had Mike, we had Gabby, and we had Scott. We had cameras everywhere. It's a tremendous team effort. It really is. Name's ready, morning line ready. It's ready in CG2, Kevin, yes. 30 back, 15 seconds. This is the time capsule hit, correct? Time capsule hit coming up. Just pick it up, four reporters. We have four reporters, Todd. From the time that feed bag is removed for a contender for the TVG Pacific Classic and they're brought over to the receiving barn, we will have a reporter there. We'll have them Ten from seconds. the receiving barn. 10 seconds, nine, eight, 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 seven. seven. Going to Gabby next. Six, five, five, four, three, four, three, two, three, three two, go to Gabby. Take 19. Hazleton. Gabby, we start with you. Good, Close now 81. Seven. Go. Well, Todd, Seeking the Soul's what is journey right? 81, really began 81, right? 81. Uh, by being yes. born into one of the most interesting breeding operations in this industry. 14 seconds left in this. Seeking the Ready, soul, 19. Dude. Show the horse, 19. The Show the horse, 19. Gabby on the horse. Maybe there isn't. Chad. She may not be there. Copy. 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 Five, four. On camera. Ready, dissolve, 19. Dissolve, 19. Ready, 20. Ready, 20, Mike. And the grade one TV. Pacific Classic. Take. Well, Quip looks to turn the tables on Seeking the Soul. Two, dissolve. For You're on camera. Star Farm. But due to his lack of size and if you next, Mike, the horse, if the horse is I there, get your shot. 20, if the Mike, horse is there, you turn the horse. So Mike, from day one, Mike's got to get ready. Step by Mike. Full. So he was sent to a man with a penchant for helping difficult horses, Rodolphe Brisse. Open 11. Go. Take 11. Well, Pavel's beginnings, like many thoroughbreds, were on a farm in Kentucky. Is Scott, Scott, farm. Scott's, Scott's in 74. Off, off camera. Scott's in 74. Yep. Just Ready. Full, Full sound. Full sound. Full sound. Take. Well, the reality is with draft pick, he was bred for this. All right, let's get Joe Talmo here. Uh, seven horse, please, Alex. Seven. Which allowed for him to be sold for $450,000 at the Keeneland September sale. Ready, 13. Open cam seven mics. Dissolve. Go. We had a feature with John Sadler and Bob Baffert where Bob Baffert was watching higher power work with John Sadler and he said, wow, that horse looks like McKenzie. 39 and 4. That was a that was McKenzie kind of move. Todd and Simon. Q. Open them up, Q. When you discover the passion of horse racing, that's when you are born into the sport. The Born Into the Sport series was something that we were able to have a lot of fun with because I think there's so many people that have this passion and that work in this sport because it really is a part of them from day one. So it was fun for us to be able to kind of showcase that and to highlight where everybody comes from, all the different walks of life, and how they have brought their talents to not only horse racing but to TVG as well. One day can I go on a pony? But not today because I'm at the racetrack. Well, I was born in South Africa, and South Africa was part of Natal province. First thing they did when they got off the ship was look for a flat piece of land, and they set up a racetrack. So I was kind of born into it. And when I got to five years old, I, I kind of went to the racetrack for the first time and got hooked. I, mean, I was convinced I was going to be a jockey, but they turned me down at 14. So I said, OK, if I can't be a, a jockey, I'll be an announcer. I always say that when they start coming to the gate, I think those original memories from when I was 12, 13 years old come back to you. And when they get to the gate, I'm a 12-year-old again. They're all set for the Pacific Classic. And away they go. The King, Richard the King. You know, we shot that Born Into the Sport with my dad, and that turned out to be the last time that he'd ever be at a racetrack. And I think it was fitting that it, it was that way. Looking back on it, I, I just I can't be more thankful to everybody for allowing that to be shot and archived for not only for me, but for my daughters. They'll always have that to look back at and, and see granddad at the track in his element. And that means the world to me. As a reporter, we got to showcase every step of the way leading up to the race and after. Starting at the backside, walking over to the receiving barn, walking into the paddock, into the starting gate, 
through the race and back to the barn because that is the process the horse goes through, but also the emotional ride that a trainer, owner, and jockey go through. It's such a pleasure to be a small part of it because it is such a team. I mean, because if one thing falls through the cracks, if one person doesn't do their job, then it you know, puts the entire production at risk. The show, this company, anything that we put on air would not be possible without the unsung heroes behind the scenes. I would start with the man who put it together and my boss, Kevin Grigsby. Hey Todd, run happy bonus here, run happy bonus. I don't know how Kevin Grigsby does it, but I've worked with a lot of producers over the years, and somehow he ingests all of that chaos, all of those moving parts, puts it together in this beautiful picture, and then not only relays that on the screen, but to us as well. You can tell how much he loves when this day comes around. Boom. Think about the man hours that go into putting on a production like this. It's, I don't know how you could do it. The time spent in not just that week, but the weeks leading up to it. It's, it's a pleasure to be a small part of it. Live view operators, if you can hear me, great job today, great job. Quite nice. Yeah, Chris sets at 56. They're coming. We have a visual. All right, Batman, let's soar. Yeah. You all right? You having fun? Looking good, feeling good, sounding good? Ready. Oh, this is going to be hard. Here we go, focus on it. Open cam seven, on camera, take, go. Our reporters are walking with the field as they make their way into the paddock here for the grade one TVG Pacific Classic. She's go ahead, give it to Gabby. One horse and then keep working back. Gabby, who's with you? Open 19, take, close. Well, in just a few moments, we're going to be joined with War Story, but you can see the crowd is just leaning over, hoping to get a glimpse of these horses in the paddock for the Pacific Classic. And leading the charge here is War Story. And two starts back, his trainer, Jorge Navarro, said that he was not himself in the paddock, very washed out. It was not the case last time out when he got the victory in the Grade 3 Monmouth Cup. Take 20, open 20. Trainer Rudy Brisset and Quip both seeking their first Grade 1 victory. Mike Joyce next. And for how much talk we've had of Quip being a handful. He seems cool, calm, and collected since coming in here into the paddock. Open 11. Go. Take 11. Well, Pavel's known for getting himself worked up before a big race. Number 12. So Scott next. Number 12. 12. Scott next. His MO. It's actually a good sign. And I'm wondering if I'm following the right horse here because he looks pretty relaxed. Open 12. Go. Trainer Bob Baffert is going for his sixth Pacific Gabby Classic, next. and he said that this horse can be Camera a little 19. aggressive. And if you look at him, he is. He's on the muscle, but he's not over the top. He expects to be sitting just off the pace. Open 19, take 19. Well, Dallas Stewart told me that seeking nice the soul can be a bit of a handful in the morning, but not necessarily the case in the afternoon. So he did not feel the need to paddock school him in preparation for this race. Open 20, take 20. Trainer John Sadler looking for back-to-back -back victories in the TVG Pacific Classic. Again, hoping Mike he next. got a call Mike to next, camera 11. power was right off of sensational workouts on the main track. He expects him to be sitting just off the hip of the leader. Pretty 11, open 11. Pretty 11, take Well, there's 11. a good look at Tenfold as he came in for the Steve Asmussen barn under the care of Scott Blasey, his lead assistant for years now. Tenfold's here for the mile and a quarter. Make no mistake about it. That 10 furlongs hits him right between the eyes. Take 12. Campaign needs pace. That's what he needs. He's nine. Job, nine. Find the nine. For Scott's Scott camera. Get in there. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Yeah. That this will be the horse closing best of all. He said he would be relaxed. He is relaxed down here as John looks for back to back in the pack classic. Open 19. Take 19. Well, Mongolian groom is now. 20. In the Good job, everybody. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. And the cooler blanker, blanket has been taken off. I like his demeanor here. Open 20. Take 20. Last and surely not least is draft pick for my father, Peter Erden. And he in the barn is known as a cool dude. Nothing really ever bothers him. From humble beginnings, Dallas Stewart has never forgot where he came from. Here's how he was born into the sport. I grew up in New Orleans, lived in a neighborhood where they had some horses. Started learning to brush them and take care of them. I was about 12, 13. Okay, guys, we ready? Yes. Yes. Great, great. My mom raised three of us on her own. She's 85, and she'll call me after every race. I'm here doing this big interview, and they wanted to see my mom. Tell them hi. We've got a great horse here, Seeking the Soul, running the Pacific Classic. He's a thrill. He's six years old. You know, I just love everything about the business. It's still fun. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Let's go to Mario Gutierrez, born into the sport. Roll 74, track take. 
Mario Gutierrez has a big opportunity to pick up another grade one with Pavel in today's TVG Pacific Classic. I remember being like seven years old watching my dad become a, a jockey. I just fell in love with it and I, I knew I wanted to be just like my dad. Basically I was I was a writer. He was he became a trainer. Joyce is next, full sound, 71, right? Yep, yep. yep. I got Doug right now. I raised in Mexico City, then I got the opportunity to go to Canada. He said, I don't see you coming back home and start school again, so might as well go all the way. My career highlight, I think winning the Kentucky Derby in 2012, and then winning it again in, in 2016, I think that's like my, my the best highlights of horse racing. Post Cam 8, let's go to Mike Joyce. Live, Doug O'Neill. You want to go and interview, watch your Iris 11. The action, Mike Joyce. Open 11, please. Lose the odds bar. Take 11, close 7. Around the world. Just talk about the journey of this horse and getting here now and what a win in the Pacific Classic would mean for his career. Any right. shot, we can do you live here. You got a little flare there, 11. Ready, 11? Take 11. Do your best, do your best. We, we did more of a good year. Good job. Yeah, right? yeah. Ready, yeah. clean. Ready, how can you put into words uh, what Seeking the Soul has done for you so far? All right, let's get horses coming out here, okay? Uh, they're coming your way. I got you. You can wrap. Just wrap it. We need to be with them, right? Yeah. We need to follow them. Anna James, one of the best camera people in the business. As long as I've got Anna, I know everything's going to go well because her and I have done so many things over the course of our careers together and been in positions where it's like, how are we going to pull this off? So race 10, since I take this off, we're going to hustle our asses all the way down. Yeah. Us announcers, we put in a lot of work, but nothing in comparison to what the people behind the scenes do. The team hit every single yeah. note. Well, let's put that over beauty shot. All right, so background's coming up. All right, Kevin, we're almost green. One pass through for the post parade. Todd is going to throw to our reporters who are walking over the Pacific Classic horses. Got me? Open cam seven, go. Todd, go. And the field coming out onto the track for the Grade 1 TVG Pacific Classic. Mr. Fipke, one of the more, you know, there's a lot of great stories in the sport. Out of order here. The two will come out last. Of his idiosyncrasies, they saddled him in the fall. Thanks, Brittany. Nice job. John and Shady, they're there. And this year's TVG Pacific Classic. He's a five-time winner of this race, Bob Baffert, looking to break the record with the sixth this afternoon, seeking the soul of tremendous in the paddock. He had two, two, second pass, plus break. That's next, OK? That's you. Thanks. Taping it with Rudy. Taping Brittany. Taping Brittany. The two is behind the 10. Yep, yep. Scott, you and camera, get to the gate right now. Let's go. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Scott, how you doing? Can we do a hit? We're good, I mean, yeah. Scott, you ready? Give me thumbs up. Yeah, we're ready. Yeah. I don't hear Scott. Great, here we go to Scott. Todd, they've nearly made their way all the way to the back of the chute there to start this mile and a quarter journey. Let's check in with Scott Hazelton behind the gate. Scott, you watched this field from the receiving barn and you're at the starting gate now. Who's held their composure? They all have, and Pavel, he's certainly is sweating the way that they hope that he will when he runs big, so that is encouraging to see. Give Todd the ball to throw to the race. How little real estate there is back here behind the starting gate for the TVG Pacific Classic. Open seven, close 12. Gonna come Racing back to you, you on him. Help, help him out with 29. Kent DeSormo, Gary Stevens, Alex Elise, Chris McCarron, and Lafitte Pink Jr. All right, here we go. For the one million dollar TVG Pacific Classic field sent on their way. Wow, they jumped that fast. Okay, here we go. Side Quip came out very well, and War Story, two out inside horses are fast. They've been joined by Higher Power in the green colors, and Pavel the Gray tucking in just behind them for the top is in a little tight. Draft pick on the extreme outside, only three lengths off the leader. Seeking the soul in the gold okay, cap, they uh, really three, got backed up here. Then there's another three, four lengths back to tenfold. A half mile left to go. 
Quip is in front. All right, right swing Pavel. He's in last. Second. Mongolian groom third. Sure. I'm telling you, higher power. Side. Six to make up, and then Pavel coming to the quarter pole, and higher power, and Flavion Pratt kick for home, and are they going well? Higher Come on, power. Get a camera on Brittany. 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 We got to tell us already? Did he finish second or third? Quip was second last and for the top trail. In back-to-back -back years, Hiranis Racing and trainer John Sadler have taken the TDG Pacific Classic. Can I stand next to him and interview him while he's on the horseback like we do in Dubai? What's that? Just, just right out here? Yeah. Can I just stand next to him with this yeah. interview, Flavian? Yeah. Okay. Flavian Pratt has had a year to remember, and he's only really at the beginning of his career. This is definitely the year of Flavian Pratt. Let's go. Scott, coming to you live. With Scott Hazelton. Open 12, close eight. Flavian, you were loaded throughout that race. Oh, How we're much in trouble for this one. When you turned for home. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, we, I was cruising down the backside, and uh, when Quip kind of couldn't keep up, I, I kind of opened up, and uh, I mean, he was dragging. Paul, me Paul, they're clapping. Paul, yeah, get all those handshakes. Connection and can things in middle. Fabian Pratt has had an unbelievable year, and I don't think it's to the surprise of anyone. He's an incredibly hard-working athlete. He loves what he does, and he's sensationally talented. You will not need a single trainer or owner that does not love what he brings to the table when he walks into that paddock. Game face is on, and his year is showing up. How would you describe this year that you've had in 2019? Yeah, I mean, as as of right now, it's been incredible, and uh, you're fine. You're fine. Looks sure good. In, yeah, just when you're at the sun. Really That's good, Scott. Rap. Realize how big it, I Gonna mean, stay how big with you on it if I can. Is. Congratulations. Thank you. Three camp seven. Open camp seven. Go. Go to the winner's circle. Get Kip, gotta get Kip, gotta go. Completed in 202 and two. That's not a blazing time, but it's not a blazing fast track either. Do we need to talk to John? We gotta talk to John as well, right? Get ready to go to Scott Hazelton live. I'm not. Scott, coming to you live. Scott Hazelton with John Sadler live. Their spot in the starting gate. Scott, John, this horse was fifth the last time he ran on dirt, and a very average fifth in the Gold Cup at Santa Anita going a mile and a quarter. No, on camera next, then I'll go bang, bang, bang. Well, we've had him longer. You know, when we ran him in the Gold Cup, we ran him off a layup. Um, Todd, we, Todd, need you, Todd. On camera next. I think he just got a little tired today, and I said, well, it's our first start. It's a pretty ambitious spot. On camera next, and then back to back to back. Going three in a row. Okay, look, it's easy to cover the victors after a race, but we've been showing you all day the connections of Quick, po Quip, Pavel, and Seeking the Soul. It did not turn out to be a good day for either one of those three horses, but we do follow up those stories now. Roll 71, track, take. Well, Dallas, take us through the race, and what were you seeing from Seeking the Soul today? I mean, obviously, we're disappointed, but uh, today just wasn't his day. But Brittany's next. Quip. Well, Quip got to the lead, but the target was on his back pretty much the entire time. Okay. And then we're going to the race. Going to be back 71. To one. Yeah. Florence said uh, just uh, no horse in the second turn. Well, thank you for the time, and uh, we look forward to seeing Quip back on the track. Thank you. Track. Well, disappointment here for Pavel and Tim O'Neill. It just looked like he'd never really got into the race. It did, yeah. And uh, you know, they're they're uh, living being uh, creatures, so they're they're not machines. And uh, just grateful, he looks great after the race. And it's higher power in full flight for the wire. He's opened up to lead by two and a half. Draft picked as chasing gaily. 2019 TVG Pacific Classic will live in memory for me personally for a very long time because we had a horse in the race. Her dad is a trainer in Southern California and he also has a horse in this year's TVG Pacific Classic. That was draft pick. Being able to witness a true accomplishment of my father was really special. As they were coming down the stretch, I actually remember Matt looking to me and saying, oh my God, draft pick is running the race of his life. And I think I said in that moment, Brittany must be going crazy. <laughs> Go, 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 go. 
that video is going to haunt me for years to come. Went pretty viral. I don't know where the punching came from. The right jab is a new move for me. But uh, I just, I, I love it. It was a highlight for me and uh, probably for my cameraman to catch it. I think anyone who watches that moment, her cheering at draft pick in the TVG Pacific Classic, that tells you everything you need to know about how she's born into the sport and why this sport means so much to all of us as individuals. It just goes to show you how passionate we yep. all are about the sport. Many of you out there have great stories and they've developed here on TVG. Our biggest thank you is to you, the TVG viewers and account holders who have brought us to this 20th anniversary. More coming up here on America's Horse Racing Network. I love Thanks, you guys. Hey. That was great, that was yeah. grand. We'll see you at dinner. Thanks uh, guys. Yeah, now we're good. Now we're good. TVG is clear. Now we're good. TVG is clear. Front glaze, nice job. That was fun. Yes. Nice. Nice. Nice run down, man. Really good. Uh, nice. Really good. Nice. Can't do it. Good execution. Only can do it if everyone does it. Is this your favorite horse? You can say no. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is kind of a funny shot. <laughs> I'm walking with a horse. You know it's important. I'm wearing a suit. The horse looks very... Mic check. One, two, three. How we doing? I don't even know which camera I got. This is that thing we taped, right? We taped the floor box. Yeah. What is that? I hear something jingling and I thought it was a horse. <laughs> we got the best looking horse in this race anyway. Is this like the like reservoir dog scene? So we You peel off? And if you have the TVG tip card, we're all coming to the set and talking about how Todd T. Shrub came out Ginobili at 19 to 1. We're ready for a Keelan Brad to hit here. For Bill Thomason, for Bob Elliston, Vince Gabbard, GD Hieronymus. Keelan Brad, let's go. The shield is just. Gabby's changing. Wardrobe malfunction. Keelan Shield, don't look. <laughs> okay, nobody calls me. Now, now everyone. Yeah. Okay, we got it. Okay.